Hi, everybody. Uh, who is ready for some spicy, high-energy takes about Ethereum? Raise your hands. Very good. All right. I really love the ensemble tonight because you get four totally different perspectives. And I think my perspective is the most different because although I was there from the beginning, I was a total outsider just observing. I've basically been observing for 10 years. Okay, I didn't build shit. I was just there going to the meetups like you guys and observed who's doing what, why are they doing it. And if you follow me on Twitter, you saw that last week I started an insane tweet storm. I'm literally every 10 minutes, I'm putting out a spicy take about this industry that we've created. And um, this talk is basically, I'm trying to synthesize a new meta, a message of hope for everybody who has lost faith in what the fuck we're building, okay? All right, this is, I call it, it's gonna be the weirdest presentation ever held in crypto. Uh, I don't actually know if it's true because we've built a really beautiful, big and pluralistic community across the world and it's really just one perspective I'm giving. So don't feel offended. It's just me giving spicy takes in hopes to spark a conversation, okay? All right, let's do this. I'm from the class of 2014, as I just mentioned. And when all started out, most of us were just average nerds that had the privilege to afford jumping into a crazy, non-existent industry of idealists wanting to build a world computer. I don't know if you remember the world computer story. Nobody talks about that anymore. Yeah, cool. Uh, I'm just dropping some receipts. Those are gonna be the only ones because I'm not here to do any virtue signaling. Uh, that was me in 2014 at the maybe first Ethereum meetup in London. Uh, we're trying to get the first uh, e the Ethereum C++ client to work in a local network with everybody in this room. Uh, me included. Back then I was still a Linux user, so I was able to run that shit. Uh, that's another picture, and um, you can see me in the background, but uh, what's really more important is the person you see on the right in the foreground. That's Nikolai, one of the co-founders of MakerDAO. Today, the class of, of 2014 is either dead, for example, Nikolai, found dead on a beach in uh, Puerto Rico a few years ago, or we're still grinding, or we are extremely, or let me say obscenely, rich and powerful nerds, okay? I personally didn't make it. I totally mid-curved it. Let's discuss why. My parents grew up poor. It's not the same kind of poor as today. If you're poor today in Germany, you're like literally poor and underclass. When my parents grew up, nobody had anything because it was the beginning of the boomer cycle. But that meant that you, while I grew up, the topics of finance, money, investing, stocks or markets had never been brought up at our family dinner table. School and uni in Germany taught me no basic financial literacy. I was also told for 13 years at school that I suck at math. Personally, I do not enjoy finance or markets deeply as a passion. And I grew up in one of the most sort of stable areas ever with easy access to banking and totally heteronormative norm core. You could say that I came into this whole industry entirely unprepared for what the fuck this is actually about, okay? That's why I've been observing for 10 years. I just didn't know what this actually is, literally. But let me reframe this narrative right here and right there. I own nothing. I like eating insects. And I am, in fact, happy. All right, now that I roasted myself, let me roast us as an industry. The upper picture is what I signed up for. It's the analogy of the long spoons. I don't know if you ever heard about it. The lower picture, however, is what we are getting. We're literally in hell. 
Uh, it's just player versus player. Everybody is fighting for their own maximum financial advantage. Launch a token, launch a meme coin, do some other bullshit. The entire value proposition of why we started this whole thing, the moral truth that made us successful in the very beginning has entirely evaporated from this space. Now, I'm sort of gonna address the big wallets in the room, but I mean it out of love. If I would have a big wallet, I would fall prey to the same human behavior. I'm not better than anybody in this community. But I'm telling you that you broke the flow of money because you thought you're the better capital allocators. But that made you actually capital extractors. Look at what's happening. The movement while we all joined is dying. This industry stopped growing. Yes, we are at the very bottom. Retail hates us for the right reasons now. We are everything that's wrong with the world we wanted to leave behind. The dark enlightenment is taking over right now and we are enabling it. And even more so, what is happening right now could be frozen in time forever. This is Nick Bostrom who's been talking about that. So I beg you, stop the return maxing. Stop the goddamn empire building. Which future do we want people? Do you know who these people are in that picture? Raise your hands if you do. Sort of. This is Angela Merkel. So <laughs> Good point. No, that's Ayn Rand and that's Rosa Luxemburg. They couldn't be more different. Welcome to the age of Aquarius, which we are just now entering. We're in an epic battle of toxic masculinity versus divine female energy. We're in a battle of the dark enlightenment versus plurality. We're in a battle of EAC versus DAC. Do you know who's an Aquarius? <laughs> Who else is an Aquarius in this room? Raise your hand. You guys are important for the future of this space. <laughs> okay, enough roasting. Let's talk about solutions. Ethereum, the next 10 years. We have to fix capital allocation in this industry more than anything right now. And it's no coincidence that Christoph, one of the only guys who never launched his own shitcoin after leaving the Ethereum Foundation, is literally working on fixing capital allocation. The people who know what's happening in this industry are painfully aware of that problem. The good projects are dying right now and the real people are leaving. I started a shitstorm on Twitter recently and I've gotten dozens of private messages from people telling me, Florian, what you're saying there resonates so much with me. I'm about to leave this industry. I've been grinded to nothing. I can't do it anymore. I just don't feel it anymore. This industry has broken me. So what are we even doing here? Through zero to two degrees of separation, we in this room know 80% of the trustworthy players in this industry. Please, for the love of God, allocate the money to the people you knew for years who are still here because they believe in something. It does not matter if these people succeed or if they will create any return for you. What matters is that they stay and bring more good people. Be the change you want to see in this world because we only have one. If you don't, this eternal cycle will keep repeating forever until we all ascend together to a higher realm of consciousness. This is what this is all about. I joined this because I want to level up with all of you. 
You can either become a legend for breaking centuries of generational trauma, or you can become a footnote in history nobody will remember in a few generations. Make up your mind. Thank you. That was not as dark as I expected no, it to be. I'm saying I'm trying to synthesize a message of hope. Yes. I'm an optimist. I'm an eternal optimist. All right. Wonderful. I agree. Okay. Any questions? <laughs> there are probably this, no questions. After these truth bombs have been dropped. Oh, the, the obligatory. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fabian, you had enough stage time no. for tonight. Okay. I don't want to hear it. No, I'm sorry. He has become every other. Yeah, topic. but I'm the one who tells okay. him not but to. And <laughs> out of love, out of love. Okay. Uh, I just want to have a beer no. or a joint with the people right no. now. Oop, I can say that because it's legal now in Germany. Um, let's end this and uh, thank you all for coming and listening. Uh, if you think I was saying wrong things, I appreciate it also if you say it to me or to people. Elliot, yes? What's, what's the one-liner of the headspace or the mindset that you think we should kind of adopt going forward? I want to organize crypto's first socialist uprising of the small wallets against the big wallets. <laughs> and I want to test if we can fork the entire shit and make this industry ours again. That's the end goal. There, I've said it. Ooh, That's it. Okay, if you have any questions, I am sure you can hang around for a few more minutes.